Mm hmm We are back. So, we left off having killed a bold CEO. And now we're in a boat, or a submarine or whatever. Jeez. And we're back to the rocket spam. But I don't know why, like, I can't remember any Ninja Gaiden game before this being so obsessed with every interaction you have with any fight being, oh by the way there's like five guys on the opposite side of the screen spamming you with rocket launchers. Like, I do remember in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 there was a jungle area where they all had rocket launchers and you were trying to swim and swing across vines and stuff. But it was like for one area it feels, and then most of the time they relied on those teleporting guys who sometimes shot fireballs at you, like the magic purple genie looking dudes. This game just says, I'm gonna throw a bunch of generic repetitive enemies at you. And I'm also going to just spam you with rocket launcher fire. Because that makes it fun. Like, how am I supposed to avoid that if I'm literally halfway through an obliteration technique? And then as I come out of it, they just mash two fucking rockets into my face and I'm in a corner. Like, how is that fun? Like, look at this shit. And, like, I killed one of them. So their response was, I know, spawn more. It's not even, like... You try and solve the problem, and the problem just respawns. Like, fuck you, no, you are keeping the problem here. Like, did they think this was fun? Ah, oh, you know, these fights, they're pretty easy. Uh, you know what will make them harder? Not improving the enemy AI. That would be crazy. No, what we'll do instead is we'll just make it so occasionally you'll get rocketed from off screen. Yeah, you know, like, and he'll, it's just like a random event where you have to know to dodge the thing that you have about a second to dodge from. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll stop bitching about that. It's just, it's one those little things like that that feel like they're not so much unfair as they, well, they are kind of unfair. It's just frustrating and, like, no one thought about if this was fun, you know, like... And that's the whole point, like, the whole point is the gameplay. Like, 2 has got really good gameplay, I think. And you can kind of laugh at the silliness. This is trying to be serious, but it's still silly, and then just does shit like this. Nah, uh, uh, I have an everything proof shield. Like, if you, if you actually give a shit about combos and the karma system and shit, this fucks up your playthrough. Because they're like, nah. Nah, nah. Clang. You hit my Lego brick. Fuck off. But he hit me mid animation. How could I have stopped him from off screen? Insane. Well, oh, there we go. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. I hit his everything proof shield and it shattered, so instead he just rolls out of things mid-hit. That is just- look, this is just as frustrating! Because I'm hitting him and he's diving through my blade and it's going, nah, uh, uh, it doesn't count. This counts. Oh, and he's got his magic little shield again. So it's just don't make characters that are frustrating to fight against. Like, you know, like, I feel like there's been enough character action out there for you to know, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is not a fun person to fight against. You know? They like, don't make enemies that do this. Unless it's a deliberate challenge. You know, and it's still a fun fight otherwise. 
for you, stop. If I hit him with a stick, they'll go away. Anyway, I'll stop being a miserable bastard, but yeah, you know, it's, that's the thing about this game. It's just got these little things that you're like... It's got a load of big things wrong with it too, but it's like a lot of stuff was just faultlessly... Yeah, Zuna drop. Thrown in. As like, oh yeah, that'll be unfun and annoying. Um, yeah, like needless quick time events that aren't fun to do and shit and you're just like mm, you know there's something to be said about adding content to try and make something seem like a progression from the, the game before it and then not thinking about what you're putting in the game <laughs> and like yeah but is it fun though I guess you could kind of say like you know you know, you got a game and you just... This game was fine, but how do we make it better than the last one? Oh, just add more shit. But is the shit better, though? No, it's just but add more, and then they'll be like, Oh, guys, there's more shit in this one. It's like... <laughs> it's worse. saying DMC2 is better than DMC1 because your guns do more damage. <laughs> hey guys, they fixed the gun in this one. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, let's use these. By the way, every time this area loads up for the first few seconds, my fans on my PS4 blow the fuck out. Like, hardcore. Like, I don't know what it is with this and certain effects, but certain effects just, even on the PS4, just blow the fans out like crazy, and you're like, this must have run on the PS3. How is it, like, you know, the HD remaster can't do with this shit. Oh. So yeah, I feel like these areas were also put in in post to be like, oh shit, there's not enough just fighting dudes gameplay, so uh, let's just create a like portal world where he fights dudes, because uh, otherwise it's going to feel really light on gameplay. Maybe this was added in Razor's Edge, I don't know, because I remember a lot of people saying, wow, like, and Ninja Gaiden 3 doesn't have a lot of fighting, it's just got a lot of moving from one room to the other. This feels like added content because it's like you're teleported to a different generic world to fight some dudes for a bit. You know, it feels like, oh, they like could have easily added this in. Like they kind of added like some missions in with Ayane and uh, you can play as Kasumi and uh, Momiji. Just feels like they were like, oh shit, people are mad that this character action game has no action in it. <laughs> when will video game companies learn? If you rush shit, it's always gonna be kind of bad. <laughs> just, if you gave it time, this could have good shit in it. It's just, it needs a lot of reworking. I think this is like, I don't remember these guys coming into this area often. The good guys with their everything proof shields. They go brick that. Oh, is it time for. Oh, I thought we were going into a limpy section. Look at this server room. Oh. Who was that? Oh my god. Let the girl go. This is the final act, Dragon Ninja. You are How many times are you gonna say ninja? War. I'm gonna change to uh, He kicked me. Oh. 
So, bets on who this actually is. It may surprise you. What's not gonna surprise you is that, like, Kana in a test tube is probably not a good thing. They love these kind of test tubes in Japanese video games where there's like a vulnerable party is floating in a test tube and you're like, no, and you push your hands against the glass. You don't know how much time has passed, but it feels like forever. <laughs> I feel like we've done this fight at least three times prior to this. And he's just shooting virus at me. Which is kinda insulting. Oh no, you cut my face. My mask, but not my face somehow. Dead. Is that it's not Cliff. It's her dabby, who's been dead the whole time. A fine battle. Oh, fine don't clap, you knob. Ah, Theodore, my brother. He was the ace up my sleeve. My father died in an accident. My yeah. My father opposed my plan. He tried to stop it. That's why I had him die in the accident. What God, this writing is crap. But oh, my God. there was another role for him to play. To die by your hand. How would you... How does that? So I brought him back to life. Of How? His memory, so I erased them. How? How can you do these things? That seems OP <laughs> as shit. That's who you were talking to. How that? It's just a mask. Oh fuck off! You're doing Phantom of the Opera bullshit. Look who's talking. You killed my brother. Kana's father. Isn't that right, Kana? <laughs> she literally has to be a child to be this stupid. Also, uh, my virus is just being controlled by humans. You know, I was worried that you wouldn't be able to bear the birth, but you did. A true dragon ninja. Yeah, what would have you done if I died earlier? I'm gonna look for doing a little dance. Oh, I got kicked by his sandals. Line delivery on this. What the fuck? He can just fist my chest. How is he doing any of this? He can just pull it out of me whenever. <laughs> what the fuck? My daddy. You. Yeah, you said. He kind of sounds like a uh, archer when he says that line. Ryu sounds like he sounds like Lana. But like seriously, she literally has to be a child to be this stupid to watch someone engage in a fight and him literally say, "Ha ha! I was mind controlling him." Isn't that right, Kana? He killed your dad. Literally just explained in front of her that it was all an elaborate plot. Oh god, she's transforming. Oh. Why? <laughs> this literal child character with a child's face needs, by the end of this game, to be a giant booby woman. What the hell is that? This feels like it's illegal. Yeah, what the hell is this? This looks- this feels illegal as shit. Like, these guys are the FBI, they're gonna take this person, like, in. Also, she looks ugly as fuck. This is a horrible final design. Also- Oh, they- They turn them into pink goo. Oh, no! This makes any fucking sense. How did that happen? She sees her. Fuck. 
Don't do that! They're zooming in on a child's ass. A child's giant flapping ass. Please move the camera away. Fuck you! Why this shot? Why? Why any of this? Why doesn't she have a better design? Why did she turn into that? Because she got a giant sword now? Oh my god.